지금 조금 한창 내가 어떤 길로 가야 하는지 나의 꿈은 무엇인지 뭐 그런 것들에 대해서 진부하지만 그래도 가장 중요한 이야기라고 생각하고 제 이야기를 해줄까 합니다. I thought that since you guys are in the same generation with her, she thought that maybe what you really want to do in the future, what's your dream, maybe even though you heard about these questions a lot in your life, she thought that that's still an important topic to talk about. So based on that idea, she will sort of share her experience to you guys. <laughs> 학생으로 she grew up in Seoul and then she graduated her undergraduate program at Jungang University and her major was theater and then now she's at the graduate school so just like you guys she's a student too. 어렸을 때는 오히려 이제 배우이기보다는 조금 더 깐깐한 성격에 조금 까칠한 여자 아이였던 것 같아요. When I was young, it's hard to say I was a, I, I have a kind of talent to be actress, but instead, just like you know, young girl who's kind of stubborn and have a kind of you know strong opinion about certain things. That was her childhood. 그런데 제가 배우와 저를 관련짓기 시작한 건 제가 생각하기 나는 이은지다라고 나에 대해서 나를 이은지 표현하잖아요. 무슨 일? 제가 그렇게 하거든요. 근데 어, 왜 사람들이 내가 아닌 이 사람이 이 사람도 자신이 나라고 하는지 왜 이렇게 나가 많은지에 대해서 어렸을 때 이상한 생각을 하게 되었던 것 같아요. 그래서 그 수많은 나에 대해서 생각하고 또 연기할 수 있는 Wow, it's quite philosophical. I hope that I can explain the word to you guys. You know, the time when she kind of connect herself to being an actress, at the time she thought, that why there are so many I? Because when you guys introduce yourself to the people, I am blah, 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 right? So she kind of questioned that there are so many I kind of existing in the world, and who am I? And she actually want to, you know, introduce herself, not just I am, but Yi Yun Ji is. So, you know, kind of try to figure out her sort of self-identity, I guess, from her early sort of age, I think. So based on that searching for her sort of true identity, when she was 16 years old, she kind of decided to be an actress. 한국에서는 이제 고3, 고3 이렇게 하면서 19살 때쯤 자기가 가는 방향을 정하고 그리고 이제 대학교에서 그 방향과 관련된 공부를 하는데요. 저는 조금 남들보다 빠른 입시, 빠른 고3을 맞았던 것 같아요. 그렇게 대학생활이 시작됐습니다. In Korea, for the international students, usually when they become a senior at the high school, that's the time to think about their future seriously as a major. But in a way, she had that course on the senior sort of the time at high school, she got that time a bit early because she made that decision when she was 16 years old. Uh, 한국에서 여배우가 되겠다고 하는 것은 굉장히 확률적으로 낮고 그래서 저는 제가 가진 탤런트보다 어쩌면 운이 더 많이 따랐다라고 생각을 하고 있는 입장인데요. As you know, it's very competitive. Being an actress in the Korean media, media industry is very competitive, and it's not that easy. And she thought herself that you know maybe she was a bit lucky to be an actress. I think she's very humble here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, the same my interpretation. Oh, 그런 제 생각에 대해서 well, unlike the typical parents in Korea, actually her parents support her decisions. And then her parents thought also that the being an actress or the, the actress's job is actually pretty global and international. 그렇게 이제 시작하게 된 저의 여배우의 길이 사실은 당연히 순산치만은 아니었지요. And of course, as you guess, like her career as a movie actress wasn't always easy. It was pretty tough. 욕심이 많아서 운 좋게 들어간 
대학과 또운 좋게 시작하게 된그 여배우의 길을 너무나 두개다잘 하고 싶어요. So in a way, she had a kind of big passion. So being a, the students at the Chungang University, you know, and also at the same time being an actress, she wanted to do those two things as well. So, So as she said, uh, she did her job as a student. At the same time, she also do her best to be a you know, good actress. And sometimes she heard that you know people saying, "Why don't you just focus on one thing, and then once you finish it, you can move to the next one?" But she wanted to do both work well, so she did. 제가 그렇게 생각하는 이유는 일을 하면서 제가 느낄 수밖에 없었던 굉장히 부족함, 나에 대한 부족함, 어, 혹은 일하면서 계속 써내는 그런 에너지에 대한 공허함 이런 것들이 학교로 돌아가게 하는 굉장히 결정적인 이유가 됐어요. 그래서 두 가지를 할수 있어요. And also the reason behind the decision why she wanted to do was work so well because you know being an actress sometimes she sort of spend you know a lot of energy she has to be an actress and then sometimes that makes her feel kind of empty and things so she need to find something else from her you know the, the, the study as a student too so that was another reason why she wanted to do those two things at the same time well. As a, sorry, as a one episode and example, as you remember, she was in the TV drama for King Sejong, and then for the international students, the King the Great, uh, the King Sejong the Great, he's the one who invented the Korean language, and then her role in the drama was Sejong's wife. <laughs> 학기말이 이제 촬영과 겹쳐버렸어요. 학기말 시험이. And then when she was in that drama, actually that was the middle of the semester, so her final exam that period, and then important shooting actually happened at the same time. 학기말 교사는 여러분이 아시다시피 이렇게 무서웠고 어마한 어머신지 모르겠지만 <웃음> <웃음> 교수님이 시험을 치르지 않을 경우에 F 학점을 주기 때문에 그것이 굉장히 중요했죠. As you know, if you miss the final exam, the, the stubborn and ugly professor like me, <laughs> as you know, right? <laughs> so one episode, one sort of episode is that, you know, in the middle of the final exam, you know, also, you know, she was in the shooting and she had about four hours break. And then imagine that it's a period film and then since she is the wife of the King Sejong, her hair was too big. I mean, remember the students who are taking my class, I showed that picture to you guys yesterday? But without changing her hair or costume, she just launched the school to have a final. <laughs> 입을 수가 없어가지고요. 밑에는 청바지를 입고. <웃음> Actually, you know, she didn't wear that hanbok, the traditional Korean dress, but she wear the blue jean, but she keep the same hair. <웃음> <웃음> 어, 시험을 보는 내내 강의실 문이 열려 닫혔다고. 교수님도 제가 왜 저러고 지금 앉아 있는지를 굉장히 의문스러워하는 표정이었어요. So when she actually took the final exam with that beautiful heavy hair, the door of the, the room was opened and closed quite often because uh, the people, including the professor, want to see what she is doing. <laughs> So that was kind of one episode, uh, but you know, as she said, she did her best to do both works, and then that actually well related to the main topic, main subject she want to discuss about today, which is how we can select the thing or how we can choose the things. 제가 그럼 지내면서 늘 생각하는 두 단어는 선택과 후회 단어. So in her everyday life, she usually think about those two important words to her. One is 
selection or choice. Another one is regret. You know, for example, about the choice or selection, should I choose that particular movie or drama to be in or not? Or should I have a kind of break from the school or not? Those questions. But she believed that the best way she can do choose or select the things which she's not going to neglect in the future. Because it, no one knows what will happen in the future. So that way she's not going to blame on anyone else. If something bad happens, she'll blame on herself. So you know, sometimes we really neglect the things once you get the final results, you know. But to her, you know, neglecting things is in a way kind of heavy. <laughs> so, since she has that sort of the philosophy, she doesn't neglect quite often, except the area when about the diet. <laughs> so, I think this is kind of a key word. She said, then she said, you know, neglecting is also your choice. Okay, so remember that. So, for her, she doesn't want to neglect about her choice, but instead, if something wrong, she wants to change it. And she wants to look back what uh, what she did wrong. That's more important. I'm a teacher. 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 I'm a